Hi everyone, welcome to My Clone Solution. Today we're going to show you how to add multiple email addresses inside your Gmail um, so that you only have to log into one email address rather than five. So let's go ahead and do this. As you see right here on my screen, we have um, the standard Gmail inbox. You'll see I have a couple extra things and you can check that out when we get into other videos, but we are here to show you how to add email email addresses to Gmail and then be able to color code them like you see here. So let's go ahead and do that. On the right hand side of your screen in the settings box, you'll find that little gear. Click on settings. This is going to bring you to the entire settings manual for Google. All right, so what we're going to do is click on the fourth tab, which is accounts and import and scroll down so you see check mail from other accounts using POP3. Now, the reason that Gmail uses POP3 instead of IMAP is because Gmail actually pulls all of your information into its system. Um, IMAP leaves the emails on your other systems and then those systems get full and then you end up losing emails because those systems will keep your emails in there and not tell you that they're full. So, um, I want to make sure that with all of your email addresses, you've gone and gotten the correct information on how to set up using a POP3. If you're already using Outlook to check your email, you can go into your accounts and settings with Outlook and pull that information directly from there. If you're checking your email via web space through your host, all you have to do is go to the help section for your host, like GoDaddy, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, network solutions, any of those. Go to the help section and type in, what are my POP3 settings? It'll pop up with a page and it'll actually walk you through setting up a POP3 account in a different place. I need you to get your full username, your full password, as well as the SMTP server and the outgoing mail server, along with the ports they suggest you use. All this information is going to be in the same page. You can either print it, write it down, or keep it up on the screen for you to be able to copy, copy and paste. All right, that being said, in this section, all you have to do is click add a POP3 mail account that you own. It's going to open up a separate box and you're going to go ahead and type in an email address. This is the email address that you want to check inside of Gmail, which could be your info at myclonesolution.com or whatever yours is, and then click the next step button. The next step that you're going to come to, it's going to ask you for your username, your password, your server, as well as the port. This is the information that I just asked you to get. So go ahead and type it in. In most cases, if you have a web space email address for your domain, it's going to be the full email address. And your password. And then your POP3 server from your host, as well as the port that they suggest. Now, leave a copy on uh, of retrieved messages on the server. You are more than welcome to do this. Just know that you are going to have to go and delete emails inside your server probably every 30 days. If you want to eliminate the step, this is safe. You can leave this unchecked. Your server will also tell you whether you have a secure connection. If for some reason, when you're done with this screen, it pops up and gives you an error message, most likely this is not supposed to be checked. Okay? Now, always label your incoming messages. This will allow us to help color code your messages inside of your inbox. So always have this label incoming messages checked. Archive incoming messages is not what you want to do. Please leave that unchecked. This basically puts these messages into a folder and takes them right out of your inbox. You will miss messages this way. Okay? So once you've gotten those settings in there, press add account. And unfortunately, I am out of email addresses as Gmail only allows five um, additional. But what you're going to see now is after the... Um, after any errors or anything that you come up with here, it's going to come up and say, would you like to send mail using this account? Please click yes. 
Once you click yes or uh, continue on that particular screen, then it's going to come up and it is going to ask you for the SMTP server information. This is also on that same page from your host. Go ahead and you have your username, password, and that information. And once you put that in there and there's no errors, it's going to add that email address for you. When it's added, you can come back here to the check mail from other accounts section and it'll show you that it's checking mail from the account you just put in. Also, it will show you that you are sending mail as that particular email address as well. This gives you all of the functionality of Outlook without uh, also with being a cloud-based system. So now, from any laptop, any desktop, any phone, any tablet, all of your email addresses are in one place. And that's it. Now, if we get out of this and we go back to our inbox, now you're going to see that all of your email addresses are populating. Once you have all of your email addresses put in here, you're going to start seeing all of your inboxes populate. Now, in order to color code them, over on the left hand side, you are going to see all of the email addresses that you just put in. Like you can see my four are actually five right here. Now, in order to change the label color on these email addresses, all you have to do is hover over one of them to the arrow on the right of it. You can see that arrow once you click it, you can see label color. All you have to do is choose the label color of your choice. It will go ahead and update. If you uh, refresh your browser, you'll see that my colors here are going to go from black to blue or not. trying to make it a color I don't already have in here. Come on. It tells me the label was adjusted. Now the more emails you have in your inbox, the, the slower this is going to be. Not the slower the email address is going to be, but the slower the change is going to be because it has to keep up with you. Oh, look, there we go. Now you see that all of the BBs over here that were pink or that were black are now pink. Now go ahead and change the color of all of your email addresses. And guess what? You're going to be just like this too. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon for other tips and tricks and how to's about Gmail and other cloud-based services from MyClone Solution. Have a fantastic day.